Hey everyone, my name is Monero from Break Diving. We're having one of our awesome chill chats, which is just an international get together of friends. We get together and talk about nothing. And it's a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, we got Bavia so far uh, in Jersey, Akhil in Ethiopia, Chioma in Nigeria. Ruth is in, Ruth, are you in Uganda? Nigeria. Nigeria, we have Shemaine in Zimbabwe, Iliana in Egypt and Bibian wants to join the party too. Bibian is from Uganda, right? Yes, yeah. And I think Gay is gonna join us from Philippines shortly again. Her Wi-Fi got a little funny. Anyway, hey everybody. Hi. No one wants to say hello. Hi. Hello. I'm the only one who's excited. <laughs> How about that, that's not true. No, I know that's that not, is true. not true. That's not true. All right, so who, who wants to uh, say something first about anything? Got five, five seconds or I'll have to come in and moderate. Hey, Ruth. All right, it's so. It's something interesting. Mm. Hey, Vivian. Nope. So I, 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 my observation earlier was just that it's amazing how beautiful break divers are. Look at, look at this group. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful group of people. And uh, what can I say? We should make the break diving beauty calendar. And this calendar will have all of the beautiful break divers. What do you guys think? That would be a good thing. Yeah, but we have more than 12 break divers. Well, on, e on, on, each, on, on each of the pages, we will have 30, 30 break divers. I have a different idea. What if on every day, there's a picture of a break diver's face? <laughs> that is a great idea, too. Since I don't think it's a good money. idea. Because then, you know, the people who cross out the days, <laughs> you cross out people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's kind of weird, though, because it's almost yeah. like they're, they're, they're assassination targets. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, Monroe is gone. Uh, you know what? Okay. It was a good yeah, idea that I think have... went downhill. Um, so who, who's, who's, Bibi, and how are your chickens coming along? Very well. I lost one today. Oh. Um, now, does that mean you can eat the chicken or did the chicken have problems that you cannot, you can't cook them up? No, I can eat the chicken. This okay. particular one, I think, put something down its gut. So I think it had a problem. Mm. Yeah, but the rest are doing just fine. Yeah. How many chickens do you have now? I have 65. Wow. Mm. That is great. That's a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. Uh, having eggs is me, so I have a full tray. That's you make good. a lot of custard. Uh, all right, Bibi, in your turn, ask ask a question to somebody else. Diana, what what new recipe do you have for us today, Diana? A new recipe. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, today I made chicken with zucchini and bell pepper and onions and ginger and garlic. <laughs> Soy sauce and what lemongrass. How do you use yeah. the lemongrass? You blend it? No, I just put it in the because it's just like an herb, so I just put it inside of the the dish and then it takes the flavor and then I mean at the end you want to take it out because you don't want to eat it. Yes. So, yeah. It's a bit hard to chew. Exactly. <laughs> 
All right, Liliana, your turn. Now, you asked a question of somebody else. And keep this going. I got to go help somebody with something really quick. I'll be back in two minutes. But just keep this question thing going. I think we'll have some good conversation. Uh, what kind of computer did you get? What? What kind of computer did you get? HP. That's it. It's a late model. It's fourth generation. It's a Pro Book. Mm. Wait, so is it you not? About one terabyte hard disk. Oh, that's good. Yeah. For my first PC, I think it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. How about RAM? How much RAM? Eight GB RAM. Oh, it's each of us really good combination Me in too. one terabyte. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to work uh, for like uh, coding and programming since I'm learning uh, since, since I'm a student of computer science mm -hmm. I, they mentioned I needed a PC so I worked for it and I buy it congratulations. Oh, congratulations so you are a student of computer science yes okay. so you're learning new programming languages yeah, we are learning uh, C++ in HTML. C++? Oh, yes. HTML. Directly, usually yeah, first thing. I yeah. do, but uh, they are making it together. Since mm -hmm. the pandemic closed the university for six months, mm -hmm. they are like rushing us to learn new I stuff. See. Okay. So they started with the, directly with the C++. Usually they start University start with C, then go for C plus plus, right? So, I, actually, I was amazed in that. I asked my teachers; they it's they said it's mandatory. Okay. No, but I think her question was: Did 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 you start with C plus plus, or did you do C first? I started with C plus plus. I'm just mm -hmm. learning it now. Okay. okay. So far, so good. That's good. <laughs> it's interesting. It's fun. As Bibi, are you studying computer programming too? I'm trying Python, but I get confused every other time. So <laughs> <laughs> I keep going back and forth. Uh, you'll get a hang of it. It just needs consistency. Yep. I think I so think that basic. for me, yeah. learning a computer language that's outside of actually learning how how to apply it mm -hmm. it's it almost it becomes sort of just like it's like algebra sometimes and you're saying what the heck am i learning algebra for when am i ever going to how do i even what do i do with this when we know that algebra does have a use in engineering and things like that but i think a lot of these tutorials they don't explain how it's used in the real world so for example with python most most people, from what I understand, use it for two things. One is for pen testing, which is for hacking into computers. And the second is uh, Python on Django. No, well, the third is uh, data science. A fourth, I guess. Yeah. And things like that. So, I mean, you, you, whatever you're doing with Python, try to find a practical use for it. Otherwise, it's, it, it, it's, it's kind of demoralizing and boring to just learn how to do the logic without actually having a practical thing. The reason why I mentioned Django is uh, this, this website, Break Diving, ours, is Ruby on Rails. So Ruby is the language and then Rails is the framework that allows us to create interactive websites like Break Diving. You can do the same thing. We could have coded this same site, Break Diving, using Python. Django. And put, and put it onto the web using Django. So you, you might want to find, I think on our, on our handbooks, you can find a Python on Django tutorial. Look up Django, it's D-J-A-N-G-O. Cause I think it'll give you something, not just conceptual, it'll give you something practical where you can actually see the code, the Python code that you're making doing something. Uh, just as a suggestion. I'm not uh, looking at web, you know, website designing. That's my interest. I want to try that. 
if, if you want to do web designing and you like Python, then study Python with Django. Uh, and, and learn JavaScript. Ah. <laughs> you got to learn Java. Gay, Gay's been trying to get in for the last like three times. I keep saying accept and then she gets disconnected. So I'm not sure what happened. Ruth and Shemaine and and Chioma, how about you? Are you girls doing any programming lately? <clears throat> no. Hey, Gay, what's I'm going not. on? It was like, it was daytime yeah. when you were here before and now it's nighttime. What happened? Oh, I lost my connection. Oh. Yes. But you, were, you were inside before, now you're outside. Are you outside to get a good connection? What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the, those who don't know Gay, she's in the Philippines. Did you get a new haircut? Mm -hmm. Did you get a new hairstyle or something? It looks long and sleek. I don't, it, was, it wasn't like that before, right? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's wet. Maybe. I don't know. Hard to hear you, Gay. You have a, there's Ruth. Can you see my plants? Yes, huh? now I can see your face, Gay. And there's Ruth. Plants. Yeah. And I can see your plants. Wow. Yes, these are my plants. Yes. <laughs> what, what's the purple thing? Is that a flower? Yes, it is a flower. Okay, very, very nice. Come on, Shemaine, is it, it's time for you. If Ruth put on her camera, you know you can put on yours if you want to. It's the click away. So, wait, how many people do we have? Do we have three people from Nigeria here then? I think so. Ruth, Chioma, and, Sh and, and Bibian, right? No, Bibian no, is, is Oh, Bibian's Uganda. Yeah. Shemaine is Zimbabwe. Oh, so we have two two from Nigeria now. Okay. Is Tommy on? Tommy is also from I don't Nigeria. know where she is. She's riding her bicycle or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ileana, when I came in, uh, Cleo was talking about C++. Was, is it his turn to ask a question to somebody? Yes. yes. Okay, Cleo, ask, ask a question to someone who hasn't been asked yet. Okay, I'm going to ask you. Okay. I uh, I was reading the thing you talked about the uh, the a taste. What? A taste that you sent to a professor or something. I didn't read it fully, but you said it was a, a real progress for your publishing. Oh 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 oh! What I posted. How's that going? You what? What's your question? You want to know what happened? Yeah, how is it going? How is it going going for you? It's uh, is it good or? I, I think he's talking about the the thing with the book, right? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I when I did my PhD, I I did a study on the successful at the the decision making process of successful entertainers, and then my one of my mentors, Dr. Rich from the school, said, "Hey, this is a really great study. We can turn it into a quantitative." <clears throat> test that will allow other people to actually take the test and determine where they are on their on this scale of whether they're likely to succeed across very many dimensions and then someone can use this test to determine where they can improve so if you're starting a business or you want to become an actor uh, you want to write a successful book or become a successful athlete our idea is this test will help people to improve and also to maintain their success once they get there. And we, we wanted it, we got it published in a psychological journal recently, but that's very esoteric and it's very academic and it's not something that is accessible to most people. So yep. we, we decided, let's see if we could turn this into a, a book for everybody to read that they don't have to understand psychology and science so much, but they could still benefit. And we wanted to, use case studies in the book of people who are already successful entertainers, athletes, politicians, 
who take our test and then we analyze their life story and their trajectory using this test and the different phases as proof that our, our system works, but also giving practical examples for others to follow. And I've been trying to find somebody to help us get started. And I finally got in touch with a, a friend of mine who's very, very busy, but he's very successful in show business. And I talked to him on the phone today after trying to get in touch with him for months. And he agreed to take the test and be one of our case studies for the book proposal. Uh, and his wife, I just found out, I didn't realize this, but has just gotten a huge amount of Instagram followers now because she was in the, re the last Star Wars movie. And she was in, uh, she's in this new, this TV show called about the, I won't say this show. I don't want to, without their permission, I don't want to give away who it is. But she's on a TV show now. And he said, I think my wife might be interested in helping too. And I'm just excited because I think with this, we can put together a good book proposal, which will get us a good agent. And then when we have a real legit agent, I think we'll be able to get even more entertainers, athletes, et cetera, on board. And then I think we can get a publisher to, to publish it. And I just, it's given me a lot of hope because I've been working on this for, I mean, it's been now since 2011, I started my PhD. So I've been working on this for about nine years. And I'm excited to think maybe there's a shot that it might actually go beyond academic circles and be of help to everybody. So anyway, that's, that's why I'm excited about and I'm hoping that things will develop further. So. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, it's you. I hope so. <laughs> I see all your smiles, so thank you for your support, and and uh, I hope uh, everybody on break diving who knows me even a little bit well knows that I I get discouraged sometimes, and yeah. <laughs> I, I have to. I hope this story and reminds you to also remind me, but to remind you too that keep going. Don't give up. If you've got a good idea, just keep pushing forward, even though you get rejected by, I mean, there's still a long way to go on this journey, but this has given me such a, oh, this is good news. And he's so excited. He said, I think this is brilliant. I think you're going to get lots of people. I want to be one of the people I'm on. I want my story to be told. And I'm thinking if he feels this way, other people are, want, are going to want to jump on board. I just needed to get a little bit of legitimacy with one person who's already a legitimate success in one of those mm -hmm. very risky fields. Mm -hmm. And I think I did it. And mm, so uh, yeah. my question is to <laughs> Shemaine. And I, I know Shemaine is her, her focus this month because she was on the, the, uh, what did we have? A what do we call our cash flow event uh, the other day? Ruth yeah. was there too, right? Yeah, it was book club events. Oh, it was the book club, but it was for rich dad, poor dad. Yeah. So yes. I'll ask, I'll ask Shemaine and what's the latest with your, your financial transactions? <laughs> Are you, did you make some improvements over the last, last week and you're on the right track? I've, I've saved more like you advised. So who was that? Was that Shemaine or Ruth talking? Ruth. So Ruth, you've been saving up some more money? Yes. And what, what's your plan with the money? When, 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 once you save it up, what's, what's the next step? I don't really have any plan right now. Let me just keep saving first. You know what? That's not bad at all. I, I think I think if more people just did that, what are you doing? What's your financial plan? I'm saving money. What for? I don't know. <laughs> good. That's good. Because then you have a lot of choices once it's once you once you save up your money. Okay, Ruth, can you ask? Uh, let's see. People who have who has not had a question asked of them yet. Chioma. Okay, Ruth, okay. can you ask Chioma a question? Sorry, I don't get. So just ask Chioma any question you want about anything. Oh, I see. 
So, Chama, which part of Nigeria are you, are you in right now? Hello, Chama. Hi. Did you hear my question? No. No. He asked, what part of Nigeria are you in? Okay, I live in Lagos. Oh, that's that's nice. I can remember now. Where are you? Where are you, Ruth? So, Harare. <laughs> no, Onicha. Oh wait, Harare is in Zimbabwe, isn't it? Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> Brake divers are going to know more about African geography than any other group in the world. <laughs> I've met so many people from countries that I've not been to before. Great. Ruth, how far are you from Chioma in Lagos? It's quite far. Five to six hours. Okay. By car? Yes, by car. And what about you, Vivian? Are, are you, do you live near Net Lagos or li do you live near Ruth? I'm in Uganda. Yes, in oh Uganda. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, it's, it's confusing to keep track. We have such an international group. Okay. So the answer to, Bibi, to my question is yes, Monroe, I live very far. From Lagos. I think I live closer to Vivian than. They live to the end. I know. <laughs> okay, hold on, wait. I just got. I gotta do a quick. Wait, we need. I need to. I need to do a geography thing real quick. Hold on. Uh, share screen. You got it on the other side of Africa. All right. Well, I, just, I just need to find out exactly where these two are. Um, Google Maps Uganda. Okay. Can this go out? Yeah, yeah there we go. Yes. Okay, so let's find out where, where we are here. Where's Nigeria? Near Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Uganda is, can someone help me? Yeah, right there. I, <laughs> right there. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> right there. I, so wait, here's, wait, wait. A Cleo yes. is in Ethiopia, right? I'm gonna have about Ethiopia. So. Right, he, uh, you're right in the middle of Ethiopia. Yeah. And we have. You, where are you, Eliana? Next to Israel. <laughs> Next to Israel. And so the peninsula. Yeah. Not okay. up, down. Now, oh, there's Uganda. Mm -hmm. Okay. As 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 Bibian said, right there. Right there. <laughs> right there. Do you live in Kampala? Yes, I'm in Kampala. Well, are you on this water? Is this Lake Tijikaka or something or Tanganyika? That's Lake Victoria. Oh, it's Lake Victoria. Victoria. Mm -hmm. it's like the the Nile. Nile. Oh. Oh, my home. So where's Lake? Wait, where's Lake Tanganyika? No, that's down in Tanzania. Oh, that's in Tanzania. Yeah. yeah. I see. Okay, and so that's Uganda over here. Oh, when she said right there, she meant this. <laughs> oh, it's, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> because we searched for Uganda Google Maps and it's right there. <laughs> so I, 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 I acknowledge my idiocy at, at the moment. I apologize for being a bad Google Maps tour guide today. Okay, so we have Uganda, we have Bibi in Uganda, we have uh, Iliana in Egypt, we have a Cleo here in, e is this Ethiopia? Yeah, that's Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And then Chioma and Ruth in Nigeria. So wow. there's Lagos. What, what city do you live in, Ruth? Ruth is in Zimbabwe. No, Ruth is in Nigeria. And uh, Tamane is in Zimbabwe. Is Zimbabwe. Is in Zimbabwe. <laughs> I just want to find out where Ruth is first. Ruth, where are you? Here, I'm here. Oh my God. Right <laughs> 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 there. Well, 
What city are you in? Onicha. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Did you see it? Lower, lower. On your left, lower. Onicha. Onicha. Okay. Onicha. Okay. Got it. I by mistake clicked. Sorry. And then we have down in here, I think, is Zimbabwe near South Africa, right? Oh, no, I'm thinking of, oh, yeah, it is sort of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and that's where I was thinking of Harari. Okay. Oh, and Tommy okay. just joined us. So, let's see. Oh, my gosh, we have 10, we have 10 people that are going to be in this chat room? Yeah. <laughs> That's yes. going to be fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. So, mm -hmm. um, Chioma, can you ask a question to who, who's next? Shamin and Shemaine. myself. Shemaine, can yeah. you ask a message to Shamin? <laughs> Chioma, I, I don't. I can't hear you if you're talking. To Shemaine is how are you? <laughs> okay, that's officially the worst question ever. It's very thoughtful, but I don't think it's. I think it's going to just result in I'm good. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a good question, Shemaine. If you want to answer that question, you can. But you have to say more than good or bad. You have to explain <laughs> why. OK? You have nice muscles. <laughs> oh, gosh. I wasn't in planning to do anything. <laughs> I just put them here. If I flex them, then there's. Oh, that is good. My muscle is your wrist. <laughs> That's a good one, Gay. Let's see yours, Eliana. My muscles. That's <laughs> 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 not bad. That's good. That is good. Uh, Shemaine, did you uh, did you hear Chioma's question? I think she's a home. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I, I had the question, but um, I'm fine, 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 <laughs> fine. Okay, okay. You can't just say fine over and over again for, for a minute. You have to really give an answer. Why are you fine? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm fine. <laughs> okay, because... <laughs> <laughs> because the day was great. Okay. What a great day. Okay. What did you do today? What? <laughs> what did you do today that made today great? Um, <laughs> today I went home and from I don't know how many kilometers that was, we walked home. From I don't know which part that Tuding. <laughs> you can search Tuding and then go to Gumatdang. It's all gone. We walk way home for one hour and thirty minutes <laughs> with my sister. <laughs> what's, what, let, we'll do a quick look. What's What's the name of the town? Tuding Itogon Binget. Tuding like that? Yes. House of Tuting in Davo? No, uh, Itogon Binget. You should put Itogon Binget. Google Maps. Uh, Tuting Binget? Yes, Itogon. I love how she assumes that I know how to write in Tagalog. I am. <laughs> I <don't know> this. <laughs> no, Itogon. I T O G O N. Who, who said that? Ileana? Yeah, it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tida, Miss Smarty Pants. Yes. But the thing is, I'm yeah. Filipino, so. <laughs> That's it. Is this it? 
Yes. Tooting, and you walked from Tooting to where? To Bagway City? No, to, to <laughs> no, to Gumatdang Itogon. The one right the, like, underneath it. Yeah. Uh, On the right side, where is it? Tooting, right underneath is Gumatdang. 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 That oh. is. So, you walk, so basically, she just walked across the road. Yes. <laughs> That's not that impressive. Anyone can go from shooting to Gumata, Gumatang. Just... How did Gay Marie Capones get from Tooting to Gumatang? She crossed to the other side. No, sea. that is. No, because the road is so zigzag. No, no, I know. I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's a long way. What, what, yes. oh, there, there are two people in the waiting room. A lot of people trying to get into this meeting. Ooh. And you live near Bagua City, right? Okay. Yes. Bagua City. Oh, you can live in the city of Cuba. I hope they have good music. Tony wants to join. Who does? Tony. I did. I, I kept accepting her, but she... Uh, oh, she says she's unable to ask this. I'm not sure why. It says that she's joining right now. Does, does she need a password? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, so, Gay, uh, who else did... Who, did you... Bavia, Gay, could you ask yeah. a question to Bavia? Yes, um... Bavia, what are you working for now? <laughs> you, you, you mean what are you working on, right? Do you mean yes. that? I, I don't know. Is that what you um, mean? What are you working on right now? Yes, yes. Okay. So, what, what are you working on right now? <laughs> right now? <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, I was uh, doing some of the programming course. Yeah, oh, yeah. Of my courses, yeah. Did you do oh, okay. your West Boss training for this week? I need to do that today. Yeah, I need to. I'm, I'm doing that UT Sketch project, so it's like next is my plan. After the meeting, I'm planning to do that one. That's good. Mm -hmm. And... Iliana, did someone ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Ruth, uh, uh, Vivian, I think, asked Vivian, you. Yeah. Uh, anyone else want to get asked another question? Here, Bobby, ask a clear yes. again. He's been silent for a long time. I have a question about him. Okay, go ahead. Who's talking? Choma. Yeah, Choma. Shoma, you might need to write, type it into the chat room because it's hard to hear what you're saying. Okay. Or try to say it again. I heard you that time. Okay, well, while, while she's doing that, Bavia, can you ask a clear question? Okay. Um... You said clearly you you work to buy what what you're working as like you work to buy that laptop. Uh, I was actually doing three. The first one is like reselling shoes that came from Rwanda. I have a brother there. Hmm. Uh, the second one was I, I was a, a salesman in a shop and a supermarket. Madame. That's good. And what? And when did you get your new computer? Just this week? Uh, it's actually been yesterday. Oh, wow. I saved 15k in three months. Oh. And I by my first PC. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Now I can Impressive. take photography to the next level. That's wonderful. Wow. We are looking forward for that. All nice 
pictures. Fabia, <laughs> we're looking that. forward to that. Yeah, we are looking forward to that. Yes. <laughs> hey, Tommy. It's Tommy. <laughs> Okay, Tommy. Uh, can I answer? Choma is asking in the chat room. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so she asked, what is today's date in Ethiopia, Akhil? I, I know believe... Ethiopia is years behind the world, so it's kind of confusing. <laughs> yeah, we have our, our own dates, our calendar system. In our calendar system, we are on 2013. Wait, what year is it? 2030. 2030? No, 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 no. 13. 13. 13. Yeah. So there's no pandemic in Ethiopia. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it could be like that. That's what, so do you actually, does your calendar, like does your phone say 2013? Let me show you. Yes, please. <laughs> let me see, let me see. So if you want to be younger, you go to Tokyo. <laughs> so you see this, guys? I yeah. saw it just, it's 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 2013 a little bit. It's hard yeah, to it's see. Inverted, but let me show you. Let me try. Ooh, 23rd. 1 to 13. Is it? Oh, my gosh. First 13. 23rd January 2013. Yeah. Like what? everybody else is going to be older than you guys. Everybody what, Tommy? Everybody else is going to be older than them. I know. Yes. I always, I, I thought that people from Ethiopia just looked younger. They are younger. <laughs> that's why, that's why he looks so young. Actually, I'm 21. Mm. Yeah, but you but you look like you're like 16 because you're, you're in 2013. Everybody tells me that they don't believe me. Akhil, can you ask a question? Wait, so like if I travel to Ethiopia, that means I'm like going back in time or something. Yes. <laughs> uh, maybe a few. So like I can that. go back to redo my my mistakes. <laughs> well, that would be nice. on, on do what I that could that could be Ethiopia's marketing slogan. Come to eat want to erase your mistakes? Come to Ethiopia. Yeah. Actually, we're we're all over again. We, uh, the tourism is a, it's 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 a kind it's a big thing in Ethiopia. There are a lot of places to visit. Just um uh, uh, Chioma asked again, what happens when you travel to another country? Do you have to change the year and the day? Actually, I get confused a lot. <laughs> oh, uh, even in the... Wait, so in Ethiopia, do you have seven days in the week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Yeah, uh, we have seven days a week. In a year, we have 13 months. How many many months? 13 months. 13, 13 months. One, three. And 13 months. So, yeah. Akhil, you have one extra month than everyone else every year. What do you do in that extra time? Is it that? In my religion, we, it's a time of praying, thanking God for the year, what he done for us. And Are you Christian or, or Muslim or something else? I'm an Orthodox. Christian. Orthodox Christian. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. So, Akhil, can you ask Tommy a question now, since she just joined us? Okay, let me ask. Uh, why are you doing, what are you doing right now, just to change your life or to make good deal about, uh, on your life? Get frozen? I think she froze. Either that I or your question, true. you just mesmerized her and she's in a trance. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's in a trance right now, Tommy. Tommy, I, I, you are feeling sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, is she frozen in the same position that, that I have her in? 
I don't yeah, know yeah. what like is. being like this. <laughs> Just looking ahead. Okay, I'll answer for Tommy. Well, in Zimbabwe, <laughs> I'm trying to improve hey, my life and make more money, and I'm so happy to have found break diving. It's the best online community ever. Wow, thank you so much for saying that, Tommy. <laughs> Well, maybe show <laughs> yeah. Tommy, are you back? Is Bibi in here? Uh, yes, I'm here. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, I remember yes, something yeah. I wanted to tell you. Private or can you share with us? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's public. Let me share my screen. <laughs> let, let me show If you are. So, all right, Tommy, did you hear Akhil's question? No, I, I did not. Okay, Akhil, ask again. What are you doing to change your life? I mean, like, for the better things. What am I doing to what? Change to your improve life. your life. I mean, like, to have your own thing, to be a great success. What am I doing to make a difference? <laughs> yes. In your life. Uh, well, okay, let me see. Okay, um, I try to be nice to ev like everybody I meet, especially people that you know, people other people tend to disregard, like especially like poor people, like poorer people. Like people, mm -hmm. like people that are on the street, I try to greet them, you know, make them feel important because I feel that everybody actually wants to feel loved and feel important. So I guess I'm making a difference in that, in that way. That is a great thing. And what about for your, what about in your own life? What are you doing to also improve your life as well? My life? Um, well, okay. Uh, I try to make myself happy, like, uh, you know, I do things that make me happy and I try to improve myself, you know, when, um, I try to give myself accolades when, you know, I feel down, you know, I just try to encourage myself once in a while and then improve myself by reading and stuff like that. Chioma said that's really hard to find here in Nigeria. I just wrote to, to Chioma, what's hard to find in Nigeria? What are, what are you talking about, Chioma? Um, I have to say, almost every, everyone that I've, I, uh, every Nigerian that I can think of, and the only ones I know are the ones on break diving, uh, are, have the biggest, most beautiful smiles. Because uh, I know Chioma has a huge, big smile I know Amos has a big, huge yeah. smile. You, Tommy, have a big, huge smile. Maybe that's something unique to Nigeria. Tommy, oh, Chioma said it's hard to find people being kind to others in Nigeria. Oh my God. Why? You gonna dance for us? <laughs> oh my God. I think. She uh, I found some really reliable thing for Bibian. I was going to tell her, but I got interrupted. Go ahead. Uh, she was saying I was getting confused uh, learning Python programming. Is that a question yeah. or a statement? It's, kind of, it's a statement, sorry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, and I use a website to learn an online website uh, it's free but it teach you like practically everything practical what what site is that uh, let me tell you or let me share the screen you can you in the chat room you can type the link and then what if, if we don't already have it on our resources handbooks we'll we'll add that link yeah i'm typing it Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have a question. Oh, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, uh, I have a question for you, Monroe. Um, 
If ever you are familiar with Medicaid, are you familiar with it in US? I, I didn't understand something about my family. Yeah. Uh, oh. Are you familiar with Medicare in Medicare. USA? Medicare. Do they use Medicare? Yes. yes. Are you familiar with it? It's a soft, I think, right? She, sorry, so. She said, are you familiar with Medicare? Medicare? Oh, yes, I know yeah. what Medicare is. And my oh. dad used the Medicare. I get you know, oh, Medi I, I think anyone who's older typically uses Medicare because it's 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 basically uh, it's it's affiliated with Social Security. But my mom she uses Tricare, which is it's sort of similar, but it's paid for by the military because my dad was oh, okay. a retired military officer. What, why yeah. do you ask? Yeah, I'm just asking if it is legit because I am going to handle Medicare. As the call center. Really? All right. Well, if you yeah. have questions on Medicare when you're getting started, I'm sure I can help you to get started. But probably in a month, you're going to be the break diving expert on expert Medicare. Medicare. And, and maybe we'll create a new dive. Break diver Medicare <laughs> level one. Yes. Yay! Yes. If you guys don't know what Medicare is, it's, it's the United States... Uh, uh, basic public medical service. So if you don't have money to afford insurance and you're of a certain age, you can use yes. Medicare to pay for your hospital things. So yes. uh, let's go to this uh, uh, ProGate. Let's check out ProGate together because we have a lot of programmers here. So let's go and we're going to leave the Philippines. And we're go to ProGate.com oh. and see what it is. Is this it? Yes, yes, is it? Uh, it's it. Press get started. I should click get started. Yes. All right. Well, I have to do this later because I can't. I can't create an account. <laughs> can I share this screen and show you? But I can. What's that? Can I share the screen and show you? Yeah. Sure. Of course. Let's. Yeah. Let's I. Ha I heard oh, about Progate. Yeah. You know what? He, he wants to show off his new PC. This fancy PC screen share. So, uh, my, my battery died. Oh, we thought you were getting up to dance for us, but, but instead you just, you ran away. You just ran away. My battery away. died. <laughs> my battery died. Sorry. Uh, Cleal, is this your it's first okay. screen share with your new computer? Yes. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing, guys? Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ruby. So there are a lot of uh, programming languages, HTML, CSS, Ruby on Rails, and Python. I'm learning Python right now. A skill. Uh, can you Sass. scroll down a little bit more? Wow. Can okay. you show the different courses you can sign up for? PHP, command line, SQL. Das. Yes, yes. Oh, by the way, it's pronounced SQL, not SQL. Sorry. No, no problem. Just, just helping you out. So, that's very cool. That's actually something I want to look into. And these courses, are they free or do you have to pay a fee? They're free. They're totally free. Let me show you. So I can sign up too. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, okay. I mean, the way is everybody uh, should learn practical. how to program. You should mm -hmm. absolutely should learn how to do this stuff. It's it's a great skill to have, and if you become when you yes. become good at it, you can get hired at lots of places that want to hire you. Yes, but I don't have any passion in computer. <laughs> but I have to learn that. By the way, before all of you guys, oh, let's. Uh, let's do a, a, a photo of this because this is a big yeah. photo where everybody goes. Everybody who can, can you please turn on your camera so that I can take a, a, a photo of as many smiling faces. It'll only be on for <clears throat> two minutes, a uh, one minute, and it'll go on to our break diving. Team. So there's Ruth. Wow, yeah. That's I'm like Shemaine, right. Chioma, if you cannot do so, no problem. I'll just wait another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three. Everybody wave and smile. Awesome. Boom shakalaka. We got a yeah. big uh -huh. crowd today, guys. Really big crowd. Very, BB. very yeah. so, sorry. Yeah, so Gay, you can use that site too. And any of you who are not learning how to code, and this includes those of you watching on YouTube, start learning. It's free. There are a million resources online. Sign up to 12 different courses and you'll get a little bit from all of them because none of them are perfect. And soon you'll be able to change the world from wherever you are. Akhil has a computer now. Next, he's going to become the computing master, and he will become the, the Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates of Africa. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to give him my and, best. And Akhil, we, we hope you will give each of us a job at your company. Uh, <laughs> I'll have my company. <laughs> okay, so, so Akhil and Tommy. You have to hire us. So between the two oh, of us, oh, oh, we're going to hire you guys. Big jobs, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking big. Sure, sure, sure. Good, good. Just, uh, just so you know, before you post on the internet for employees, we hope you will come us and ask, ask us here at Breakdown. You guys will be my partners. What's that? You guys will be my partners, not my employees. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only if you are good enough. If you meet the requirements, I will not just hire anybody. <laughs> Akhil, Akhil is, the, is the very nice, generous uh, entrepreneur. Tommy is the ruthless cutthroat. Cut <laughs> that's actually... <laughs> No, just kidding. I, I, I get I, punished I, for being rude. What did you say? I get punished for being rude. I didn't for being rude? Yes. And it's your people. By my family. By my dad. By my mom. Well, that's good. It's important. I, I, as, as, as Ileana and Babia and Chioma know, for me as the, as the head poncho over here, you need to have a boss who's the combination of a Cleel and Tommy. <laughs> you need the one who's, wants, who's very generous and kind and also he's tough. tough no no it's not being ruthless it's being, it's being business minded yes yes <laughs> Tommy you won't be ruthless will you uh, of course I would have be ruthless but I'm going to be business minded okay. I have to employ people that will make my business thrive not just everybody now, Bibian, you yeah, own a business, right? right? You own a business, correct? Mm, yes. Yes, no, yes. Yes, not yes. yet. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. No, yes. I do own a business, but right now it's kind of in a standstill because I'm, I'm fighting the government. Um, we oh. run a quarry have a quarry and we have stones that can be cut into slates and into for tiling and they have decided that they want the road to pass on part of that stone there's a new road and so we are fighting for compensation if they have to take part of that sounds like it's a long fight yes we've already fought three years wow. um, just last week we had from the attorney general, so hopefully we shall go for discussion next week. Yes. Well, good. We're we're rooting for you. Let us know in the community you how the it, best how it goes. Thank you. Mm. And Gay, how is your GCash business going? Oh my gosh, it was, it's already four thousand. <laughs> yes. So ah. That's wonderful. I'm so happy to hear yes. that. Yes. Yes. Then, and where can I find lavender? Lavender? Uh, yes. I want to order some because Buy Philippines. Lavender? Yeah. Isn't it a plant? Yes. Yes. 
in the Philippines. You can find it anywhere. I'm sure you can find it in the Philippines. No, we don't have here. Yeah, I don't think so. .com. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to order from outside the Philippines. Oh. Mm. Plants are more, yeah, they are, some people here are buying plants before because it is a stress, stress reliever. Yeah, just like this one. If I'm going to sell this one, yeah, just make a lot of money. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I don't what know. did it score? What? What is, what is that? I just don't know. I just pick it up from the river and I don't know what it is. <laughs> Uh, as far as I know, it is only just a grass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, who? Uh, somebody just uh, one up on Wall Street. Uh, uh, Tommy asked for some in beginner books for investing, uh, and I just, in her chat room, I just said, "Rich Dad, Poor Dad." There's one called "Beating the Street." There's another one called "One Up on Wall Street." Which dad put that is like, it's very great. It's I'm what? enjoying it. What's great? Rich dad, rich poor dad. dad. Yeah, rich dad, poor dad is fantastic. It's, it's, it's a very great book. I would say that those books that I just recommended, they're just good for learning the basics of stock market investing. But as Bobby and I are learning, uh, mm -hmm. we have our own little stock market club that we're probably going to start doing with break diving soon, like the break diving day trading club. And the break diving cover wow. club option trade yeah. because I, I'm I'm making money consistently now selling covered call options, and Bavia is starting to do well with her day trading, and every morning from 9:30 when the market opens <laughs> till 10:30, she's sending me text messages. You got check out this stock; it's going up. <laughs> check out this one, Monroe. You got to get on this one. Is that a grill? I wanted to learn stock marketing for for some time now, but I don't know how to learn it. So the the, the most important thing, and it obviously it's easy for us in the United States because we're the, yes. we're, the stock market was born here, basically. Yes. yes. But for people in different countries, especially Africa, I don't know, and I'm hoping one of you guys yeah. is going to figure it out. Right. Actually, um, how how you can start a brokerage account in Africa where you can trade American stocks because ultimately that's where the money is, is the actually, United States stock market. Monroe, can you Akhil. hear me? Yeah, actually, in Africa, like my friends and my close families, uh, forex is is kind of thing now here. They're making money. So good. Um, maybe two hundred dollars per week out of forex forex trading. Forex is really good. That's it's another one of those complicated things like day trading or covered calls that if you if you learn about it, you can figure it out. Talk to your friends. If these people know how to do it and they're making hmm. money in Ethiopia, talk to them. I can I'm only ready. give you advice. My it's brother is to, American uh, investing because that's what I know how to do. So talk to these to people, me. figure it out. Huh? My brother is teaching me. Good. Great. And then when you learn Forex, you can teach us. <laughs> do think. Uh, Gay, did, did you get an answer about how to get lavender? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> right, so wait, we're gonna do, we're gonna Any do one, online, before yeah. We end, before we end, we're gonna do one last screen share, and we're gonna do how can I buy in the Philippines? Growing lavender in the Philippines. Find <laughs> out. So what you need to get are the lavender seed. You know, the, the question with this is, is, is it's, it's difficult to send seeds from country to country. Mm -hmm. Why? Country, they're all concerned about mm. invasive species. So I would start your research, Gay, by doing just what yeah. I did, by mm -hmm. searching 
growing lavender in the Philippines. And now you could pro then you could maybe try to find out who's this blog written by. Here's a comment. Okay. Maybe you could join. You can get in touch with this person. This person's on Instagram. Uh -oh. EDL Naturals. Okay. Right? Yes. Uh, start making some friends with people in the Philippines who are doing that. Where to buy essential oils, Martin, lavender and bloom. You can figure this out. You can find a lot of people. Subscribe to this person's blog. Whether lavender can grow in the Philippines, the answer is yes. Please see my YouTube video, how my baby lavender mm -hmm. are growing. Look at that. So. Okay. You, you just need to do some searching. Yep. Yes. And you'll have a lavender garden soon. We can't wait to see a photo of that. Yeah. So before we finish out our awesome chill chat, which was fantastic, I think it was one of our best yeah. ones yet. It was a lot of fun, very <laughs> inspiring. It's great to see each of you. Is there anything that any of you need to talk about urgently that we did not talk about today? <laughs> Vivian had asked me a question on the chat room. Did you take your trip to Disney World? Um, I went to Disney World in 2016 in Paris, and we were planning to go in year of Florida, uh, work for the next November, but I'm not sure the Disney World will be open or I don't know what. Yeah. Not open, we'll go again next year. Oh. <laughs> you know what you should do, Bobby? If you have that plan, that trip already planned, mm -hmm. and you're not sure about Disney, mm -hmm. Start doing your research now to find out what things can you do so that you have a backup plan for your kids. Yes. Because that's going to be disappointing to them if they can't do something that's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and does your does the does the hotel have a swimming pool? Mostly. Because the good news about Florida is that they're getting a lot less restrictive about the the pandemic yeah. rules. Because mm -hmm. I was just there two and a half weeks ago and all the restaurants are open. Mm -hmm. And it, it, in some ways it's almost kind of disconcerting literally because it's, it was as if there was no pandemic. And in some, of the places, in some of the places, you, everyone had the mask on and stuff, but some of them, one of them that I went to, this bar restaurant, it was as if it was summer 2019 in Florida. It's and now so, worse than us. But the, the swimming pool at the pool was open. Uh, there were restaurants that my, my mom and I could go to and things like that. But I, I, if I had kids, I would make sure <laughs> they don't touch anything. There's something that, that, that we can do safely yeah. and fun if Disney is not open. Because with this pandemic, things change every day. Yeah. They say, we're open. And then two days later, oh, I'm sorry, we're, we're closed. Actually, it's closed, it's closed, so. closed in Ethiopia. Hmm. What's closed? Everything's closed? Nothing is closed. Nothing? Hmm. Nothing we didn't is even uh, go through a lockdown. Lo yeah, the same here in the Philippines. Lockdown. There is no lockdown in uh, Ethiopia. It never is that happened. good or bad? Well, I don't think uh, there should be a lockdown wow. in Ethiopia. Because I don't think the pandemic is in Ethiopia. Since it it's COVID-19 and you guys are in 2013. We lost... <laughs> 90,000 people. <laughs> that, was, that, that was good, Tommy. You brought back the joke. And we didn't know what you were talking about. And then all of a sudden, oh! But I'm psh, hilarious. That's actually funny. <laughs> um, I hope it could be that way, but we lost 19,000 people. 19,000. 19. 19,000 or 19? 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. You no, know, I was watching, I found a new show on Netflix, actually, if any of you guys want something interesting to watch. Uh, it's called Nation Z or Z Nation. Mm -hmm. And it's about zombies. Oh, and I think I've heard of that. 
I started watching it two, like a year ago and I, after the first two episodes, I didn't really like it, but I decided to try it again and I finished the first season and it, it's very different from The Walking Dead. And, and I, think it has, I think it has a better storyline than The Walking Dead. So if you want something good and you like zombie movies and, and it, that's, I was just thinking about that because I'm thinking of the pandemic and, and and by the way i recommend if anyone comes to ethiopia i mean anyone yes, yes. can i just ask you this I, as a do you as an american do i need a visa or can i just come to ethiopia yes you you, you need a visa you can get it from the a consulate office in america and is it safe for uh, Americans to come to Ethiopia? We, uh, our main thing that we get recognized is our hospitality. Okay. Uh, every, everyone is here. nice. I can't say all of them, but everyone is nice. Most of them. So unlike Nigerians are nice thinks that's unlike Nigeria. Uh, Nigerians are nice. Like what do you mean? Culture, <laughs> she, said that she said no one's nice <laughs> in, in everybody's nice yeah so Most maybe people. maybe she, she, she's she's looking at the glass is half empty maybe in Ethiopia, there's maybe. a culture let me tell you vivian did uh, you go to ethiopia well, yeah tell us about ethiopia vivian um it's a beautiful place uh, the only thing that confused me a bit was they had fasting and non-fasting food. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I had to ask, what is fasting and non-fasting food? So we eventually got some non-fasting foods and we all ate in one big tray. Yes. The people who had, you That's know. Tree. And that was very neat, nice. Injera and all those, you know, foods. <laughs> oh. Uh, that, uh, thank you. Uh, actually, fasting for the non fasting code is called uh, the difference. We can't eat meat and milk products in the fasting season. Actually, oh, I was trying to figure out what the heck it means. What is, what is a non fasting food? If you're fasting, you don't eat any food. But I know. It's specific. I, uh, actually, something. fasting, it's not like a diet or something. It's uh, in the religion, it has another meaning in our religion, of course. It means like okay. we can't eat meat and milk products, any kind of milk products, we can use them. At, the, at that time we, we use rice and uh, there are some Ethiopian foods like Misr, Shiro. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I'm it's so actually, delicious, I wanna eat it now. Actually, <laughs> if you come to Ethiopia, you got to visit a great place called Lalibela. Lalibela. Okay. Uh, let me share a screen and let me show you uh, just okay. very quick. Show us Lalibela. <laughs> Lalibela. Lalibela. That was built by King Lalibela. This is Lalibela. That's break diving. No. <laughs> Don't you see it now? I'm seeing yeah. it on my screen. No. no. Iliana, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Iliana, yeah. did you see that? Yes, it was break diving. Oh, the nav bar is messed up. Can you go back to the nav bar? Go back to break diving tab real quick. No, no. Share your screen. Uh, let me show you. Sorry. Now you can see it. One second. Yes, took it off. And click yes. on the tab for break diving. Okay. Now oh, I can see it. Oh. Look, look at the nav bar, guys. Why? And because there's too much stuff in the nav bar. Not formatted properly because the because there's too many things. So the screen is a little bit small. And so, and we didn't design it to be this. So we need to fix that. So Bavia, Ileana, keep that in mind, yeah? 
we have to reduce some the size of something. Okay, uh, okay. show us La Libella. Can you and see it now? It's going to tell Monroe. Guys, you see it now? Not, Not yet. yet. We're waiting. Now we do. Yes. yes. So what is this? This is a church built hmm. by the King Lalibela. Seriously? <laughs> it's actually handmade uh, by two people. Oh. Can you oh. go inside it? Yes. You so can go inside come, it. So when I come to Ethiopia, I can go visit Lalibela? Yes, you can visit. It's actually, uh, if you come in the season of like Christmas in our country, this is a great place to visit. And how much is it per night? Actually, you don't spend the night there. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just joking. <laughs> Actually, in Ethiopia, there is a culture. If you are an outsider and you come, okay. and you come, you don't have a place to stay. The people around that place will give you their bed and they will sleep on the floor. So the strategy is just book the airfare to Ethiopia. Come and to Addis Ababa. And then just to Addis Ababa and then just start asking around for places to no, stay. No, no. You can uh, book to a uh, tour travel agency. But I, you said if I, if I don't have somewhere to stay, I can just, they're just going to offer me the bed. Yeah, in, uh, in the countryside. Oh, in the countryside. Okay. Yeah. So like, where is, what city is Lalibala La in? Lalibala is in Gondor, I think. Is it, how far is it from Addis Ababa? It's actually long, very long, like two days or three days in a car. Mm. Oh. I just asked you a question, Ecleo. Did you see that? I think she wants to know what La Libala is. It's a church. Actually, it's a church built by King La Libala. It's, uh, after, it's named after him. The place was uh, named after him. Very, very, very cool. Uh, maybe if I get it in world views, I can show you more. You know what we want to do, it, Cleo? Do you want to host a virtual vacation to Ethiopia sometime this month? I can, I, I can do that. Sure thing. I'll and then, get and then you get, to, and then, and then you'll, we'll be able to do like we did with the other one. We'll, we'll go through Addis Ababa. Yes, we'll go, Addis Ababa. We'll go to, uh, Lalibela together. Yes, and you, you can, can tell us all about it. I can tell you all about it. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Oh. Mm. Okay. okay. Fantastic. So to all those of you guys on YouTube, thank you for watching. We are break diving. What does that mean? It means instead of waiting for opportunities to float to the surface, we dive in and make our own opportunities. We live by the break divers creed. No rules, no excuses, no regrets. We are the most friendly, supportive and happy place on the internet. Wherever you are in the world, we welcome you. We want you to join us. We will support your dreams, help you get through your troubles, and uh, help you live a more exciting, happy, less lonely, more productive life. Mm. And uh, That's true. we hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Please share this video. Please click like. And until next time, everybody wave to everyone on YouTube. Bye. 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 <laughs>